Hi, we're the Northeastern University Mars Rover team, and we're excited to compete in this year's University Rover Challenge. We learned a lot from our first year of competition, and building on our successes and failures, we've completed a ground-up redesign of our rover. We are proud to present this year's rover, Watney Mark II. All projects start with a strong foundation. Our chassis and mobility system is built around a custom bar differential rocker bogey with a focus on all-terrain navigation and stability. Each of our six wheels are individually driven by a high torque motor, giving us the ability to climb a 45 degree slope with only three wheels on the ground. We have finalized our design for custom 3D printed wheels with a honeycomb core and we are currently working on manufacturing. On top of its chassis, Watney carries a fully custom robotic arm. Our arm is comprised of six angled carbon fiber housings supporting a parallel grip end effector. The arm is complete with five degrees of freedom, including 720 degrees of end effector rotation. Each joint is driven by a smart servo actuator with an added planetary gearbox, allowing for high torque output at each joint. Our gripper uses a dual rack and pinion design to actuate two fingers in parallel. The fingers are padded with a flexible rubber and have a tested lifting capacity of 5 kilograms. In order to practice the competition tasks, the equipment servicing lander has been simulated using a custom test board. To control and power the rover, we designed six custom boards. Using 32-bit STM microcontrollers, these boards communicate with our GPS, IMU, ultrasonic, temperature, and battery management sensors using I2C. They also contain custom motor driver circuits that have undergone rigorous testing. These allow us to collect encoder feedback and current sense data, which is then processed and sent to an NVIDIA Jetson TX2 over raw serial. Our communication system uses 2.4 GHz base ubiquity IP radios. We've paired these radios with dipole antennas for short range and a Yagi directional antenna for long range communication. Our testing has shown we can maintain contact up to 1.5 kilometers with combined transmit and receive rates of 18.9 and 17.3 megabits per second at one kilometer. Our approach to the science mission leverages two redundant assays, a near-infrared spectrometer, or NIR, and a suite of colorimetric tests. The NIR is lowered using a custom linkage, and through it we can look for carbon-carbon and carbon-nitrogen bonding, which allows for the identification of life, as well as differentiation between extinct or extent. After the NIR scan, samples are collected through a novel vacuum system, which has been tested on materials with diameters up to 5 millimeters. Between tests, vibration motors help to empty the tubing, reducing cross-contamination between sites. Analytes are then extracted from the samples using water and measured using the colorimetric tests giving further support to conclusions from the NIR data. Going forward, we will be performing full competition run-throughs using blinded samples. The software development process for Watney started with the needs of our operator. We've designed a custom UI that allows for versatile control of all facets of the rover. A fully custom telemetry system allows users to easily monitor vital rover information, including battery cell level, current draw across all motors, real-time GPS location, and for camera feed. We put a strong emphasis on simulation and testing, developing custom simulation environments that mimic those in competition. This has enabled us to develop an inverse kinematic solution for our ARM operation and fine-tune our two-part autonomous system. Our autonomous system includes an always-on watchdog that uses ultrasonic sensors, current sensors, and LiDAR data to actively protect the rover during all challenges. We also take advantage of computer vision, EKF localization, and mapping, running on an NVIDIA Jetson TX2. This enables us to successfully navigate to our goal, detect AR tags, and avoid obstacles in the process. At this point in the year, we have completed manufacturing and initial testing. In the coming months, we will be continuing testing, including two full competition run-throughs. We are highly confident we will have a highly capable rover come May. See you in Utah!